All right, we are back here at the Marymount Saints Day of Giving, where now we are currently joined by two women's lacrosse players, Megan Edens and Riley Love. Now, both of you came back for your fifth year with the lacrosse team. What was the major selling point in coming back for that fifth season, taking advantage of the COVID year? I had a few extra classes that I really wanted to take here with the Marymount professors. Um, and getting to spend another year with my teammates was was just the best decision I could have made. Um, I chose to do a fifth year because I also had some classes I needed to finish up. Um, I had a late major change and it just made the most sense for me. But I'm still super grateful that I get to have another year with my teammates and with Coach Kate. So can you talk about your graduate degree and then what major you changed to? So I'm actually still working on my uh, degree in health sciences, but I have a physician assistant minor. Um, so I'm hoping to go to PA school and taking a few more science courses before I graduate in the spring. Um, I was previously a nursing major. Um, I kind of decided late last year that that wasn't the path I wanted to take. Um, and when I came into Marymount, I was an IT major, so I switched back to IT. Now, when you were first looking at Marymount, what really sold you on wanting to come here specifically? I was a huge fan of the big class, of the small class sizes. Um, working one on one with those professors was just, it's just how I thrive. Um, that being close to home and um, Coach Kate were the main reasons I chose Marymount. Um, Coach Kate was definitely a huge factor for me. Um, the team atmosphere, all the girls are like family. They welcome you with open arms immediately. Like, I have some of the best friends on this team. So this weekend, the Saturday, there's the alumni game with homecoming weekend. How excited are you to see your former teammates? I'm really excited. I'm super excited to see Sarah Grillo, um, my former wingman. I'm excited to um, beat him up a little bit during the alumni game, and hopefully we get a win. <laughs> um, I'm also so, so excited. I lived with a lot of the girls that are coming back, and they're staying with us again, and I cannot wait. So how's the team looking for next spring? We have so many great freshmen. Um, the level of play is just so much higher. Like every year we get really, really excellent freshmen and they instantly um, really mesh with our team chemistry. So I'm really excited. Um, I would also say that our team chemistry has gotten tremendously better this year. And um, we had a great fall performance. One of the best I think I've ever seen this team have. And I'm super excited and I think we have a really, really good chance to be very competitive this year. Now, the Marymount lacrosse team, the women's lacrosse team, prides itself on its active membership and participation in the community. What have been some of your favorite projects that the team has partaken in to help out the broader Marymount and Arlington community? Um, our team participates in the One Love um, game every year. Um, that one's really important to us. We also have the Wheelers Warriors um, game for one of our former Saints, Ellie. Um, you want to speak about Emily? Yeah, sure. Um, we also do a game. Um, it's called the Live Like Live game. It's for the Olivia S. Peters um, Occupational Therapy Foundation. Um, a close family member of a teammate unfortunately passed away, and it's for her foundation to work with less fortunate children and helping them um, have a, a better learning environment. So each of you both coming into this fifth year, is there sort of a different energy now that you're really the team leaders <laughs> on the squad? Yes, definitely. Um, I think while we were seniors last year and you know we, had, we definitely had a leaders, leadership position, we still have that, but we are a little bit more um, relaxed. So it's maybe the leadership is taking more of a, I don't know, it's more like innate now. We've had a lot of practice. <laughs> Um, I would agree. I would definitely say that I, s I feel like a leader, but um, CK likes to call us grandmas. <laughs> we are definitely old now, and um, we have a lot of leadership stepping up on the team as well. So. Well, so if everything goes to plan today with our day of giving and your team is able to fundraise significantly, what would that money go towards? Would it be new equipment, potentially a spring trip, something along those lines? Um, I think it definitely could go to equipment, but we'd probably prioritize a spring trip. Um, usually we do those, like a big trip every other year. And another, you know, going out to eat or 
doing something, a team like a team event, um, could be really good for our team chemistry. Honestly, yeah, I, I think you said everything. <laughs> now, with the unfortunate uh, departure, for lack of a better word, of Cabrini from the conference, that really opens things up in the Atlantic East Conference. Their dominance is no longer reigning over us. How excited are you for the opportunity to really push and fight for a potential AEC championship? We are so excited. Like, this is our year. Um, this could really could be ring season for us uh, if we, you know, beat Mary Wood. Um, I think the whole team is very optimistic about our future this season. I would definitely agree. I think um, if any year with us two on the team, I think it would be this one. So I'm excited to see um, how we're producing in the spring. So potentially fundraising could even go to championship rings if all goes well in the spring. Oh, yes. absolutely. <laughs> it would be a dream. <laughs> All right, well, thank you both for taking the time out of your day to join us on this Marymount Saints Day of Giving. The link is still active today. It will be all day, so be sure to donate.